Oh, he's and Sony Brook opened their um, applications for for courses. Ooh. Mamma mia, I have to have to apply for courses. That being said, guys, game one. Uh, this is Hydra and Bonk. Yes. All right. I'm like, I really like watching Bonk play. Meta Knight's kind of cool. As oh my god, is he dead? No, no, he's not. He had his jump. Uh. I like watching Bonk play, almost because like I love watching him cheat sometimes. Oh my god, at Fusion, he got away with highway robbery. Right? <laughs> you, saw, you saw what happened, didn't you? Yeah, the, uh, what was it, the tree shield break, um, uh, against, uh, Pokemon? No. No? Not that No, much. it's when he was 130% and he got a kill off the side with side B. Um, oh, yeah. that one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that being said, though, this is looking like a pretty even game so far right now. Uh, I feel like neither player wants to initiate. I like Hydra's patient play. You know, just taking the time to throw out a couple of projectiles, waiting for Bonk to overextend. That's going to be the down throw. Goes for the back eight preemptively. But Bonk, of course, is nice and ready to DI out. That's all it is, really. It's a DI check. It's a bit of a vibe yeah. check. You just got to know. If you don't know, then why? If you don't know, you know. Yeah. If you don't know, why don't you know? Like, Poutine is one of the most, like, popular characters. One of the most popular top tiers around. Why don't you know this? You know, I like how wow. both of you... Ooh, wait, that explosive flame. Oh, that explosive flame was almost hot. Mm -hmm. That landing explosive flame was impeccable. You know, like, Bonk, he tried to throw out his, like, super safe and quick F-Smash. But that being said, though, Bonk was still able to take the first dog. He just has to find a way to get back onto the stage against Palutena. Such a creative way of getting back on using, uh, like, a drop-down, jump-down B. Like that, I think, is really, really nice. Yeah, Phantom Cape is one of the biggest mixes that Meta Knight has, and otherwise is rather linear neutral. Be there that he catches the fast fall with the explosive flame, but without the without the expansive amount of tools that Brawl Meta Knight had, it, Meta Knight's kind of game plan is rather straightforward. He's looking for a dash deck or his dash grab, and he's trying to get these up air ladders. But thanks to something like what is it? Is it, isn't it, is it called Phantom Cape? I'm gonna uh, Dimensional Cape. That's what it's called. Dimensional. Thanks to Dimensional Cape and its like it sometimes it has a hitbox, sometimes it just uh, he reappears and it's almost completely lagless. Because of that like 50-50 nature of it, you always have to be just a little bit careful. And Hydra's play style just seems to be exactly the way to counter something like uh, yep. the oh, wow. Dimensional Cape Madden. An uphill into an uphill type. Never seen that before for Meta Knight. Granted, he wasn't able to get anything else off of it, I just thought. It kind of looked cool in a moment. You see Bonk going through like a lot of run-up and shields. Um, I think he's trying to maybe like cover a run-up dash attack uh, from, from Hydra, but I really, really can't tell. I don't know how good Meta Knight's have shield options are. That being said, this still looks like a pretty even game, um, but he just has to find a way to get back onto the stage. Yeah, I feel like Bonk has spent all, almost all of this game like off stage. And grant, granted, Meta Knight can spend plenty of time out there, but sudden burst with that dash attack gonna take the stock. <laughs> Bonk is playing this like really, really patiently, and he's definitely making the most out of his like low profile and high uh, like ground mobility statue. Like the way, wow, oh, cold out. But like, I see him going through like a lot of gun up shields under Palutena's is neutral. He's really taking advantage of how quick he is and how short his character is to be able to get an out of shield punish on that. Very few are able to do it as effectively as he is. I think. So I, I, I think I do. I'm starting to understand a little bit more um, of his neutral play there. That being said, the side B just beat out Palutena's down tilt from below the stage. My goodness. He's got a, he's got a long sword sometimes. It's like a. It's a laser-ish sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> Only sometimes know, it, though. Yeah, pretty long. But now he's looking to catch a landing, not able to find a good back air from Hydra, just to be able to go around all the box hitboxes. He had the great idea. You saw him position himself to be able to cover the dimensional cable he perhaps to go in. Uh -oh. Is he gonna get the oh, uh oh Okay, just covers it with the neutral air and trying to catch the, the teleport onto the stage, but misses that. Both these players back at neutral and Hydra gaining a lot of space, making sure Bonk respects that. His zone. Mm -hmm. It's really good to use like the dimensional capes to snap onto ledge rather than the up because the up doesn't really snap all that well, and it also kind of leaves you vulnerable in between the hits. Um, and as a move as active as like Palutena is down tilt, you can easily stuff it out. That being said, good time neutral get up just to be able to get past the explosive flame. 
150 death. Whoa. I'm going to keep my words and my shoes. Oh, no, that's a mess. Just, just run up jab. I see Bonk do that so much. And it's like, why it's so quick. Have? It's so safe. Um, but yeah, dash attack finally able to clutch it out for Hydra. I think that was actually really well played for, on both um, both uh, players' parts. I just think overall, Bonk struggled to start any of the interactions and mostly waited for, for Hydra to overextend. And honestly, that's the case with Palutena. She's she's a wall, right? and it's really, really hard to get past her. Right. And especially since she can land and throw out such an, a completely invincible dash attack just off the cuff almost immediately like you have to play it with so much respect luckily meta knight having his low stature even though his airspeed is can leave a little bit to be desired and his crouch isn't nearly as good as some other short characters and he spends a lot of time in the air mm -hmm. like you have Pautana has to respect meta knight dash attack so much yeah so hmm. i'm currently reading doing some reading on ultimateframedata.com mm -hmm. and so up b is frame eight so that's like okay out of shield it would be frame 11 because jump squat uh, downer is frame four so jump downer might be okay and neutral is frame six so some okay out of shield options nothing phenomenal Oh, up smash. Up smash. I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of it just comes out of the fact that, that, like, they're not, like, high coverage options. They're really, like, really specific, and they don't cover a whole lot of space on their own. Um, and, and so, like, you know, Bonk, he has to be really, really reactive with his out of shield options, right? He doesn't have something that could go for general coverage. That being said, like, once again, you see him struggling to interact. He really, really wants a dash attack to perhaps set up into some up airs. Finally, he's able to find one, catching the DI mix-up. Not able to confirm the kill off of it, though. I was waiting for that back air off stage, but it never came. <laughs> Trying to snap the legs with Palutena down to covering all of those tools. He has to recover low. They were on the wrong side. I like how Bonk is playing a lot more grounded right now. You don't see him jumping haphazardly as much or playing around any platforms. The only platform there is is the ground. So you can focus entirely on... I feel like he could have started sure multi-jabbing a little bit longer. I was just curious to see what would happen. Uh, because he was so close to Palutena's shield. Definitely would have been in his favor just to hold it a touch longer. That being said, Bonk, this game is going to go away from him a little bit. Um, again, he's not, he's looking for F smashes, he's looking for Hydra to push him too far, he's looking for dash attacks, but, um, honestly, it's just like a fault of Meta Knight's, like, his ground gets really, really linear, I don't think Hydra has a jump, yep, he does not have a jump, he's not able to get back onto the stage, really, really, really good, uh, stage spike coming from him. Still have the tornado coverage, just in case. These explosive flame placements are, like, pretty, pretty solid coming out from Hydra, he's playing, like, almost a... Like a, a keep away style with Palutena that has, at the very least, brought him plenty of success to make him the first seed, if not more. Another dash attack on the miss tech. Is he dead? No, is the answer. Air dodging just in time. Oh no. Oh no, indeed, yeah. <laughs> He just needs to find a way to get back onto the stage, and honestly, Meta Knight doesn't get back on the fastest, gives Palutena like, ample time just to be able to react to what option he's doing, and positioning himself accordingly. That time, though, able to get back, back to not going to be able to... Yeah, never mind. What? <laughs> Why did it kill then? Why I didn't kill this time? Huh? Maybe it was less stale. Less stale? Less stale? He was farther into the center of the stage. Why did it kill? Maybe he air does. I don't know. I'm guessing. <sighs> that being said, Funk is quite a hill to climb. You know, whole game down. Um, entire stock down. You know, the deficit just continues to climb. He, he's looking for the juggle. Right here, wow, that back is almost able to take it. He's looking to cover something, but ultimately doesn't position himself accordingly. He's throwing out a lot of these S matches, which are like. Clearly, they're good punish options, especially at 105. Like you're gonna get mm -hmm. a lot of reward out of it, but at lower percents or even at mid percents, honestly, just going for a combo starter is might be a little bit more fruitful, especially since he's been reading air dodges rather well. 
throughout this entire set. Once he's been able to get Hydra in disadvantage, he usually gets a decent amount of percent out of it. Mm -hmm. Getting that has just been his struggle. Okay, that was hot. <laughs> first first uh, two hits of back air into the up -hoo, into the shuffle loop. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was pretty excellent. And honestly, I'd still want to say that this game is in the realm of possibility. Flip bonk. What a cool way to cover an outwards the iron and air dodge. I love the thought from Hydra. That's actually really, really smart. I haven't actually seen Palutena do that before. I really quite like that. And um, is it time to cheat? Not quite yet. No, no, no. He didn't initiate it from. He couldn't extend it from a platform, and he initiated it too low to the ground. So he was forced to ultimately finish it with a back air. What a good dash back. Just barely missing the explosive to flame. Continuing to pressure Palutena, but the dash attack. Yep, ultimately gonna be able to take it. Dash so attack fun. in the right spots is gonna make Hydra move. Oh wait, is this? No, this is best of three. This is still quarters. Yeah, so he's gonna be able to move on in this bracket. Just whenever Bonk got comfortable, and I know I have you in a corner, I have you in a bad spot, whether it be right after a teleport, whether it be uh, just after landing, coming off the ledge, whenever you got comfortable in hitting buttons, trying to uh, trying to cover any sort of rolls, or be right on top of Hydra's landing, the dash attack would come out and just immediately reset everything. And resetting it against Palutena, who is able just to dominate airspace against this type of character like Meta Knight, who only whose big draw is the amount of reward you can get off a single hit, the neutral interactions 